in 2018, we were in the 6.6% uh, growth uh, region. And this year, we're in the 55 um, That's nothing to cry about. We expect a period now of uh, normalization. So our um, GDP annual growth will tend to plateau, to flatten a bit, precisely because we're growing this fast. And I cannot see us growing too much slower. So plateauing doesn't mean going back to one, two percent. It means still staying at the five percent level, more or less. It will still be high by any European standard. Um, but given the peak, uh, the peaks we've experienced, um, we think there will be some uh, moderation. Which, if looked at it from a particular point of view, might not be bad. You know, a car going very fast <laughs> um, will tend uh, uh, to require maintenance. And some slowing down, um, but still on the high side, um, I think will do us uh, good. What are the um, possible risks ahead? Um, well, they are mainly external. So if the economies of the countries uh, that are our main trade partners, if their economies slow down, then inevitably we will slow down. So whatever happens in one place uh, should be neutralized by what happens in another. In terms of Europe, um, growth, uh, the pickup um, uh, we expected has not been um, of a magnitude sufficient um, to keep up with uh, the present rates of growth. So there we need to think in terms of a rainy day or rainy days or weeks. If you take the main European economies, say the German one, um, we're extremely eager that the German economy uh, quickens uh, its growth. The political uncertainty regarding Italy is something we watch very, very closely. Um, because it's the sort of uncertainty that uh, does create problems for the Italian economy. The Italian economy is an important Italy is an important trade partner for us. I don't think it's a great consolation to say that the uh, impact of a no-deal Brexit uh, on Malta is manageable. That is uh, our view. But it's, it would still be an impact uh, globally and in, uh, and in European terms. So although the effect will not be direct, uh, it will be indirect through the economies of our trading partners. Um, obviously, some of these economies will be impacted more than others. But even there, diversification is the key. The fact, for example, that uh, tourism, uh, the, our tourism uh, markets, in the sense of where tourists come from, has uh, diversified a lot over the last five, six, seven years. It means that we're no longer so dependent on the UK market for tourism. Uh, certainly trade conflicts and protectionism. And that's not going to be something that changes over the next uh, months or possibly even years. I think we're in for a long run um, in terms of uh, certain countries or groups of countries resorting to protect protectionist um, strategies or possibly tactics. There is a difference between the two. Domestic challenges to uh, our growth. Well, to start with um, human resources. We don't seem to be growing very much uh, as Maltese population. Uh, and yet we are growing fast in terms of the economy. So we uh, will need more and more um, 
human resources to come in from outside of the country. We will need those in practically every sector of industry at, and at all levels of skill. The inflow of foreign human resources in fairly large numbers, I think we are in terms of 20% of the labor force, um, uh, is a, could be a financial stability issue if things suddenly change. The bulk at the moment come from uh, Schengen Europe, which simplifies matter, but it's housing them. Uh, they need to have a place where they live and they need to have housing that they can afford. Otherwise, they won't stay. We need to make sure that with construction uh, moving at the pace it does, we need to ensure that there are buffers in case for any reason uh, the situation changes. Because you need funds, you need finance. That's where we come in. In order to uh, build, I'm talking about private sector, of course, um, and what happens to those loans should things change? So the need uh, to look out for um, germs of financial instability, uh, say in investment in new construction. And then there is the issue of space. So we can't quite grow horizontally. We can only do that vertically. And that presents issues. Um, the environment has become an extremely sensitive issue, uh, culturally, socially, and politically. And, and that is um, uh, an issue when it comes to constructing and providing um, accommodation, decent and affordable accommodation for new resources coming in. Not only the new resources coming in, but also for the local population.